I grown up from Alex since I was young. Now I'm 16 years old. I see like uh, poverty. It's taking part all over Alex because many people they don't want to go to school. Some of the problems that I face at home, like I don't have a room to study because the house is too small. At home, we 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 don't we can't study because we don't even have tables. When we are writing, like we must go, uh, we must write on the floor. Alexandra, it's been one of those historically disadvantaged township areas and obviously this sort of permeates into the education sphere. Lack of resources at schools and the quality of education is also a huge problem. Many people I think they just drop out from school in grade 10, 9, so I think maybe some of the learners they need like guidance to give them faith and a vision for their future. I get the faith and inspiration from people from the ASSIST. The ASSIST stands for the African Sport and Scholastic Initiative for Students in Townships. The ASSIST was founded by three Harvard graduates. They noticed a lot of interest in basketball amongst township youths, but they realized that education is still quite important in order for them to transcend their circumstances. I said, I'm a good coach. I can coach somebody to play basketball better, but the problem is, is the education side. Here at the SIST, we sort of believe that involvement in sport, in conjunction with academics, they promote a sort of well-rounded individual. We come to Alex four times a week. Currently at the SIST, we have about 40 learners, so we like to have about 15 tutors come per day. We've decided to just keep a focus on maths and English because we feel like those are the areas that they're having most of the problems with. When the assist started, I didn't know maths. Now, like, I'm starting to get, to get it. Yeah, I want to do it every day. Model C is an organization that deals with mentorship. We have partnered up with that organization, and they come and mentor our kids. And then we feel like it's very important for the kids to actually have something to eat, because, I mean, it's really difficult to work on an empty stomach. I've been sort of tracking the progress, and. It's, it's really heartwarming and so encouraging to see the improvement. Kids who previously had been gaining 30% and lower and now are passing and are even going into 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s. I think it's very necessary because, well, especially in South African townships, people, they don't have a lot of hope. You don't see success a lot of the time and because you don't see success, you feel like maybe you won't get there one day. We're really trying to, you know, make, let them know that there is a chance. For me, I see the light. I see the light and I see their faces is glowing now and then. There are more confidence as a child coming from the township. Let me not say I think so. I am 100% and positive that the assist has helped me very much. We know that this is just the beginning and we're going to grow from strength to strength. The assist, they have um, inspired me to be committed in my school work because without being committed, there's no success.